Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have a new video about the Freecraft Core packet proxy that I've been working on for, I think, the past two days. So today is going to be an interesting video because it's going to demonstrate a proxying between the client and the server for the game connection and not just for authentication. And there's a lot more uh, complexity in doing that than just the authentication because packet headers are encrypted after you claim a session on the game server. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this. I won't have any demonstrations for modifying the data today because all of this effort has gone... Uh, oops, ran the wrong thing. All this effort has gone towards getting it so that I can actually sit in the middle of this connection and understand at least most of the data coming through. There's a couple issues that I still need to resolve. A lot of this code was hacked together pretty quickly, so it's not great. But let me show you oftentimes the most important thing. Let me show you that it works. Okay? You can see we've got a lot of data, a lot of information coming on the side. Some of these things we don't have details for, so we can't deserialize them and send them, which causes problems. So we've got the character list. And if I had actually fixed all the current issues, I'd be able to show you that I can modify this data coming in. And also we can modify data going out. And we'll do that at some point as well. But I'm going to go ahead and just click join. And you're going to see a whole bunch of packets come in. A bunch of compressed object updates initial spells, contact list, the server message of the day, st stuff like that. But because I don't have details for them, and because I don't have a way to set up pass-through for the serializer, I can't actually understand and send these packets, meaning the client never receives them. So that's currently an open issue that I will work on. I think I could solve that pretty easily. The best way to solve that would be to implement the packets. The secondary way to solve that would be to uh, send their binary representation directly, skipping any deserialization, which is also a preferable solution for performance reasons, and a solution that I will eventually implement for performance reasons in the proxy. So I don't know if I've announced it in the video what this, what the main goal for this is, but. Um, Stay tuned for that. It's going to be really cool. It'll probably end up on WoW servers if I pull it off. That's all That's all I'm going to have for you today, guys. Uh, just, you know, writing a couple days writing a proxy for World of Warcraft. Intercept those packets. And, man, you could really do some malicious... Um, you could probably do some malicious stuff cheating-wise. You probably won't be able to crash servers. Honestly, it would be easier to crash servers just be able to craft your own uh, binary messages instead of using actual standard World of Warcraft DTOs like like uh, this uses. But you could probably cheat in some way. So yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the video. I was so excited when this finally worked. It took way longer than it should have, to be honest, but what a relief. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll try to have a new video out about this soon, and who knows, maybe the next video will be the big reveal. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.